Hi, I'm Mike with CAD Dimensions, and today we're going to go through a guide for force unloading the bay in case there's any kind of issue. So typically you'll see this if your bay is malfunctioning or if your material is insisting that it's not inserted when your filament is in. And this is one of the first steps we'll take when testing to see what is going to fix it. This guide is going to be valid on all F123 series printers, including the CR composite ready versions. So we'll dive right in. So, first step, you'll see on the screen later that there is an error here in the bay. First step for the force unload is to remove the offending material from the bay. If you can't remove the spool because it's stuck in the head, see our previous video on removing material from a stuck head. So, we'll get that spool out. Okay, now we're going to come right in here to the screen. And we're going to pick the bay that was offending, and in this case we're going to use bay 3 for this example on the support side. So, bay 3, typically when your spool is in, you're going to have your basic spool information, which includes manufacturer date and load date. And you're going to navigate to your little maintenance option here. In this, you're going to see right away your force unload option, and you're going to tap that five times to make sure you clear any cast data that might interrupt the process for loading and unloading. And that's going to look like this. One. Two three, four, five. That easy. So from here you can navigate back to any window that you need and you can load your spool again. And we're going to load the spool that we had in before. Now that we're loaded, closed, and we're preloaded, ready to load, initiate your load and see what happens. If the force unload was the source of the issue, then this should load no problem. If after the force unload, this doesn't load properly, it times out or it loads and doesn't purge, give us a call at CAD Dimensions so we can go through the next troubleshooting stages with you. Thank you.